I want to show you our new live trap that we created to catch critters down at the chicken coop. We've been having some trouble with some skunks that moved in and been eating the chicken feed at night. Actually, we saw three of them down there the other night. Uh, we actually caught one with this trap last night and rehomed him and was able to do it, thank God, without him ever even spraying. And the reason for that is because we've made it out of a box that he can't see through. So that keeps him a little bit more calm uh, and that sort of thing. On the back of it, we put some, uh, some extruded metal. You could use uh, any kind of wire uh, or actually you could put a piece of wood and drill holes in it if you wanted to do that. The reason we use what we use is because we had it. Uh, this whole thing was made out of spare parts we had laying around. Um, it's got a top on it that you can open up um, and, and down in it if you look down in here show you how the actual thing works it's got this flap on it that's on a pair of little hinges and it's got a little eye hook on it and then I've got a piece of um, coat hanger that I fashioned with a little loop on the end of it uh, and it's a straight side on the other end so we put that coat hanger just loop it through that little eyelet like that. And then up here at the top, I've got a hole drilled and I've got a piece of brass tubing through that hole. And the reason I used that brass tubing was so it would slide in and out a lot easier without having any kind of friction. Uh, I actually tried it with, without the brass tubing and it was a little bit harder to, to trigger the mechanism. And then we got this piece of wood, and it's just a piece of wood that we slide down in there. And I put a piece of metal on the bottom of it, um, again, so that it would, and it, it, that piece of metal sits right on top of that little uh, uh, coat hanger. And so that causes it to slide out real easy. So when the animal enters the trap, of course, back here on the back, we've got boiled eggs or whatever we're going to use for bait. So the animal enters the trap, walks back to the bait, walks up on the ramp, and the door closes. And by design, this wire is going to fall out. And also, the, the uh, flap is just going to fall, fall flat on the ground. So he can have his, his lunch, he can eat his food. The wire's not going to be in his way. And then in the morning, we're going to take him out. And of course, this door is going to be locked. We're going to take him out. So I threw a towel over the back of it. Just picked it up, threw it in the back of the pickup truck, took it about five miles away. Uh, and then I just laid it over a log and opened this door just like that. And uh, it took him a minute or two to come out. He was probably scared. But he finally did come out of the trap and never did spray, never smelled skunk at all. And, uh, you know, so now he's got a new home and hopefully, uh, you know, we're not going to be waking up with a chicken alarm three or four times a night with that skunk sitting off that, that alarm. So uh, you can build one of these things um, fairly cheap and they really work great. Um, could catch raccoons in it certainly skunks or anything like that and you make the door a little bit bigger if you wanted to if you wanted to catch anything bigger um, we had our, our beagle dog uh, first thing he did was stuck his head in here uh, out of curiosity I guess but of course when that happened the door slammed down on him and he just pulled his head out it didn't hurt him at all it scared him but it didn't hurt him so it's pet friendly uh, unless you had a really small dog, they couldn't get in it. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.